hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to do face detection using opencv inside your flutter app so let's get started first let's get started by integrating opencv both for android and ios inside our flutter app firstly what you will have to do is you will have to go to opencv.org releases click on this android button click on this ios pack button it will download two zip file for you unzip it i have already done that then this is our flutter project right i have written down few steps because it's very difficult for me to remember all the step then what you have to do open the android folder in, inside android studio and the ios xe workspace inside xcode i have already done that so first we will look into android so what we will have to do so this is how my android folder open so file new import module click on this button go to your downloads directory so here is my android hdk click on this hdk folder click open and name it whatever you feel like i'll name it as open cv i'll click finish now this will take a little bit of time so be patient next step uh, okay so we have to change the min max hdk of our open cv gradle so let it yeah it's still taking time okay so here it is done almost done so what we can do is go to gradle scripts go to settings.gradle and firstly update the kotlin version to 1.9.22 okay then here you can see it has also added our opencv dependency automatically then we have to open build.gradle of our module app what i will do is i'll update the min hdk to 24 target hdk is 34 at the time of this recording but whatever uh, is the uh, whatever is your target hdk as well as the compile hdk uh, make a note of that and we will have to change it uh, to the same version on the build.gradle of opencv as well so i will go to uh, where is this so here is the build.gradle of opencv okay and i'll change compile to 34 because that is what i'm using min to 24 target to 34 as well and here we will have to change this java version to 17 as well as over here as well then we just click on sync now this will take a little bit of time then we have to go to file project structure dependencies so just click on file project structure okay it is still syncing that's why it is not available okay it is done file project structure click on dependencies all click on all modules click this plus button click module dependency select your app okay click open cv click okay click apply uh, ignore and apply okay okay so once this is done if you go to build or gradle of your module app here you should see something like this all right so yeah that's it for android for ios i have already opened our xc workspace inside xcode i'll go to my downloads folder here is the unzip for ios i will just drag and drop inside my runner make sure all these checkbox are checked click finish then we have to create this file opencv wrapper dot header file I will write the implementation later on click new file okay i'll select this header file next and here i'll just add this header file click create so header file has been created next we have to create our objective c plus plus file so just select objective c file next use the same name click next click create and here you will have to click on it change the extension manually to dot mm which is objective c plus plus then uh, okay so i think bridging header is already present for uh, yeah so here we have to add this particular import so copy this code paste it over here then we have to create a prefix header file new search for pch select this next and just click create here also we will have to add some code which i will show you later on 
then we have to go to build settings as well as prefix header so i'll just go to build I'll click over here go to build settings here i will search for prefix header and here for this pre-compiled prefix header make this as yes uh, and here i'll just copy this okay and here i'll just double click on this paste it over here but instead of my ios app we have to write runner u n n e r okay so this is done uh, i think yeah that's it for the ios setup now let's look at the code okay so i have written down all the boilerplate code which was necessary i will firstly quickly show you the output for android so i will click on this open image picker button it opens the image picker for us and i will select this particular image and once i select this image here you can see i was able to crop the face from this particular uh, image and just display it now suppose you don't want to display the cropped face if you just want to draw a rectangle around the face i have code for that as well so i'll just comment this out and uncomment this i'll rerun my app and you should be able to see that as well uh, so this will take a little bit of time okay it is ready thank god so i'll just click on uh, open image picker again i'll select this particular face and here you can see i was able to draw a rectangle around this face as well so choose whatever you feel like let's get started with the android code first then i will show you the ios code as well as the output so firstly uh, inside my uh, so what you will have to do first is go to this particular url so go to this particular url then uh, this is my uh, flutter code so i have refactored the home page widget so it is a stateful widget i have taken a method channel called image picker platform and this is then a variable i have created called image url1 which will help us to save the url for the selected image then here inside text button we are just invoking a method called pick image and once we get the result uh, we just assign it to our image url1 variable then if the image url1 is not equal to empty then we display a size box and for that i have just display a width and height then the size box has a custom uh, image view which is a native image view and uh, i will show you the widget for it and if the image url is empty then i'm just displaying an empty size box if you want you can use the placeholder or container widget as well now whatever name you have used for method channel as well as this pick image same method same name you will have to use it on native side both for android and ios now coming back to this my image view so if you see i have created this uh via this dart file so here you can see it is a stateful widget it takes an image url we passing this image url with the help of creation params i have also created one key variable key value because uh, we want to update the widget every time the user selects a new uh, image and that's why we are using this did update widget method now here if platform is android then i'm displaying an android view for ios i'm displaying ui kit view and here you can see the view type we are passing the identifier of my image view here we are passing the identifier of my image view as well same identifier you will have to use it on android and ios side as well and then we are passing the key as well as the creation params as well okay now uh, you will have to open the again android folder inside android studio so i have shown you this settings.gradle one uh, this part okay next inside build.gradle you will also have to add this to dependency which will help us to uh, use register for activity result for picking image then just click on sync now after adding this to code then uh, you will have to go to your project inside your res folder right click new android resource directory and here you will have to select raw and click on ok i have already created this okay then inside that you will have to create an xml file with this particular name which we have okay so i have created this xml file and i have literally copy pasted everything from this uh, file which we have so you will have to do that then uh, once this is done uh, okay this also i have shown you uh, inside main activity firstly i will show you all this imports here i am using flutter fragment activity here i have created our method channel result and as soon as uh, 
on create is called we are initializing our open cv loader uh, and inside configure flutter engine uh, we are registering our native view so i am passing the same identifier which we have used it on the flutter side then i have created one method channel called image picker platform again same name has been used and once pick image is called we just call launch new photo picker so if you see launch new photo picker we are just calling this new photo picker dot launch and we are just filtering by images so once the user selects a uri we send that uri back to the flutter side then uh, we have cre we create a kotlin file called my image view factory so again these are all the imports so basically this is like boilerplate code which you have to write every time you want to embed a native android view inside a flutter app so you can just copy paste it important thing to note is that i have created my image view over here so for this i have created another kotlin file called my image view and if i scroll up here you can see these are all the imports so if you want you can copy paste all this imports then here i have taken my image view and here we are initializing our image view mat is from opencv so it is null by default as well as the cascade classifier and here inside get view we are returning our image view so here firstly we are initializing opencv setting layout params to our image view then we are getting this image url from flutter side and depending on what android version you are on uh, we initialize our bitmap and then if mat is equal to null then we initialize mat then we call utils dot bitmap to mat pass our bitmap pass our mat if mat is not equal to null then we call detect faces and here we call bitmap dot create bitmap pass our columns as well as rows then we do utils dot mat to bitmap and pass our mat as well as result bitmap as well and if faces dot is not empty here you can see it gives us a list of faces but i am just interested in the first face okay we don't need this as well uh, we just need the i just need the first face but if you want to display a list of faces you can just loop through this and display it inside your image views so you will have to take a list of image views as well uh, so here you can see that's what i have done So to display the face bitmap, you can uncomment this code and comment this out. But if you want, just want to draw a rectangle, you can just use this code and comment this out. So it's your choice. To extract face, you can just copy paste this code. I have copy pasted it from the documentation. Even I won't be able to explain it much. For detecting face, again, you can just copy paste this code. Uh, even I don't know much about it. Then uh, here we are initializing our OpenCV. So I'll just reformat the code. So here you can see we are initializing it and here we are uh, getting a hold of this uh, XML file which we have created. So we are basically converting it to stream and then we are initializing our cascade classifier. If it is empty, then again we uh, equal it to null else we delete it. Uh, this cascade directory we delete it. So I think, yeah, that's it for the Android part. Now coming back to the iOS part. okay coming to the ios part so here i have this open image picker button if i click on it i'll select one image and here you can see we are able to draw one rectangle around the face if you want to extract the face then i will just comment this out okay i'll just comment this out and i'll uncomment this and i'll rerun my app again okay hopefully it should be pretty quick all right so here if i click on open image picker again and i'll select this particular image here you can see we are extracting the face from uh, that image so cho your choice what you want to do now coming back to our ios code firstly i have updated the main deployment ios target to 14 uh, i think that's fine then uh, here again i have created this xml file which you see over here and i have copy pasted everything what we have so you will have to do this but make sure uh, this file is added to this target membership so this should be checked then uh, inside header file i have added this bit of code so i have created two methods one to detect face and one to extract face and if you see the implementation for it uh, this is the co uh, code for it so here again i have copy pasted everything from the docs so you can just copy paste it even i won't be able to explain it to you much so here we are basically creating one mat okay and if you see the implementation over here we are getting hold of the xml file which we have created which will help us to detect the face 
over here and then i think uh, we are uh, okay. so this is for uh, extracting the faces and this is for detecting a face so yeah <laughs> you can just copy paste it even i am not very good at this okay so this is the code so here you can see it is giving us a list of uh, faces but i am just getting the first face which we have uh, again if your choice if you want to display list of faces then you will have to generate a list of image views as well or take a table view something like that then or you can use list view dot builder as well your choice but in list view dot builder it would be much more complicated according to me you will have to send the data back to flutter side and it would be in part of uh, ui image so it would be even more difficult you will have to uh, save it to temporary location again i don't want to get into that then here i have created our uh, inside our uh, prefix header make sure you add this bit of code as well then inside app delegate i have imported photos photos ui ph picker view controller uh, here i have created our flutter result as well as flutter view controller here we are registering our native view so use the same identifier which you have defined it on the flutter side here we are initializing our controller here we are creating our image picker channel and then we add a set method call handler for it and once pick image is called we are basically asking for photos permission if we have that then we just call pick photo if not then we ask for that particular photos app permission so if you see pick photo uh, we are basically filtering by images and once the user selects a photo we come over here we get the selected item uh, and then uh, we just call this handle selected image so we are basically storing it saving that a particular image and uh, sending that image url back to flutter side so that's what we are doing then uh, we have created this factory class again this is boilerplate code which you have to write every time you want to embed a uh, native ios view inside your flutter app so just copy paste it but here we are referencing this swift file called my image view native view for that i have created this and again here importing flutter as well as ui kit uh, this is again boilerplate code so we are in creating a ui view and we will get an image url from flutter side then we call this create native view again this is boilerplate code so here we are creating our ui image i have set some width and height and here i have created one url as well uh, so basically whatever image url we get from flutter side we create an url out of it and then we create it to a proper ui image and then uh, here we are getting the uh, faces detected and here we are extracting the face so use whatever you want if you want to draw a rectangle then you can just uncomment this code and comment this out but if you want to get the extracted face then you can use this and ignore this part then we are adding our image view to our view also inside info.plist i have added this photo library usage uh, description permission so yeah i think uh, that should be it thank you for watching bye